Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett, and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4, as we head into episode 8 of our Early Reich Achievement Let's Play. Of course, as always, if you haven't joined the Discord already, the link is in the description, and subscribing would be a massive help. Now, for those of you who were a little worried about the outcome of the war with Poland, I do have fantastic news. First of all, uh, it looks like Poland isn't actually recovering, in fact, they're spiraling more into debt as they've uh, taken out their 20th loan recently, instead of, you know, just sitting on 19, which is wonderful. Um, I don't know if I can really check, you know, uh, they obviously have more income, that's just a given. It's surprisingly not much more because more reps, duh. And I think we get a fair amount of taxation from our, uh, from the states of the Holy Roman Empire, which is nice. So basically, we're making bank, they're not making bank. Um, I don't think we really necessarily get to see much. Let me, uh, let me decrease a couple of nations on this list, see if there's anything worth noting here. Uh, so, I mean, actually, no, that's boring, there's nothing really to look at there. I don't know what I was looking at, but, uh, yeah, uh, I don't really have a plan for this episode, to be honest, there's... Not really a, a fantastic opportunity to go to war soon. Um, we'll be able to repay our loan, which will be great. We're already at the highest tech. We've gotten ourselves all of the Renaissance, obviously. Uh, ooh, I think I'll take the prestige hit. Because uh, admin, we're kind of lacking on that right now. Speaking of which, I'd like to focus on that. Um, mainly because I need to get through religious ideas. Another thing people were concerned about is, why, why are you taking religious ideas? It's it's too too early in the game for religious ideas. What's the point of all that? Well, I mean, some, for some cases, that's correct, yeah. Sure, maybe it's a little bit early. Um, it really does depend on how much admin I spend on things like coring and other such things. Um, but basically, what's going to happen, I think I mentioned it before, maybe not in detail, but the Reformation is going to happen. We're going to stay Catholic, okay? So for everyone who's who's, who's going to be, you know, shouting out, shouldn't shouting at me like, oh, you're gonna you're gonna get the free, the free change, uh, you know, the free conversions anyway. For some cases, yes, that's true, because we'll be, of course, near at least one center of Reformation. Um, however, we have different plans. Um, yeah, I know. Believe it or not, we do have different plans than what you think. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to stay Catholic, obviously. Now, there's going to be an issue with that within the Empire. That's just that's just what happens. There's probably going to be an issue about that at some point. Um, there's nothing really I can do about that. But what I can do is maybe, you know, when it looks likely this guy's going to die, just jump ship. Jump ship for Holy Roman Emperorship and just say, you know what, guys, I just don't want it. Um... I'm going to try and make my allies not vote for me, so I'm going to, you know, vote for someone else. I'm going to make Cologne dislike me. I'm going to try and maybe make Trier dislike me as well. Uh, the only problem will be the Palatinate, but if Saxony wants to be Emperor, you know, by all means, go ahead. Um, I've done what I've wanted to Poland, no problem. What I'm going to do is use the CB, the Holy War, it's going to be Burn Heretic CB, it's going to be different but basically the same thing, um, which will get us 25% less aggressive expansion, massive within the Empire, I might like to add. I'm pretty sure it makes it cheaper to, uh, what is it, not, not buy things, cheaper to core things as well. And we're going to use that to do a massive amount of conquesting. Maybe not, we probably won't convert anything, okay? We probably won't. But I'd like to secure northern Germany and parts of Bohemia by the time that we finished that whole plan. That will probably work out. I'm just going to put that out there. It will probably work out. Um, it'll probably also better work out if I if I do that instead, anyways. But yeah. Um, so it's basically just a rush to get to the Deus Filled CB, and that's kind of it. I'll also take that. That's kind of the whole, the whole thing. So yes, we do have, technically, um, Around, I don't know, 
Ooh, that's a trust stamina on the throne. That I don't like that. I do not like that. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. I Ugh. Why is there trust stamina on the throne? Why why is there trust stamina on the throne? Castile, what are you guys doing? I mean, yeah, you have Enrique, so that's a big rip. Oh, and your, and your heir's Lancaster, so uh, you're migrating to Austria, is what I'm hearing. This is also confusing. Why do you have a 666 king, France? Why is this allowed? And, and they haven't PU'd Aragon. Oh, this game is going weird. I thought Castile would be the strong one, but they're not really so much out here, huh? Anyways, uh... You know, if we're lucky, we'll even see Austria's king die and be replaced by Hohenzollern, which will be nice. I don't know if it'll actually happen, but whatever. Oh, and you just, you look at all that, oh, you look at all that devastation, you just think to yourself, what a wonderful world we're, we're living in, where uh, we can dismantle Poland properly. It looks like they might have actually either accepted peasants or gone bankrupt. Ah, uh, could have been bankrupt, actually. I'm, I'm interested to see. While the game plays in the background. So, Poland, how's that admin score going? Uh, we have to check through here, actually. And yes, we'll Royal Mary Saxon, of course. Uh, not score over time. We want score through the ages, and we're looking for Poland admin. New, no, maybe not score through ages. Score comparison, okay. Poland. Mm-hmm. Oh, it smells like bankruptcy to me. That's a solid time. So, so, uh, so, so, so Poland's bankrupt now. That'll be, uh, quite difficult for them to, to get themselves out of. So, uh, they have pretty much no money. They've lost all of their points. Uh, they're probably, I don't know about lagging behind, uh, an entire whatever here tech, but, um, they're definitely not going to be in fighting shape economically for a while. Um... They have truces with everyone, though, which is annoying. A little bit unfortunate. Uh, but my truce with Poland will end in five years. Bankruptcy, I believe, lasts five or ten years. So, I mean, they might just barely be escaping bankruptcy by the time I hit them again. Which is it's, it's still good. I mean, honestly, um, it's still pretty solid. Uh, innovativeness. I could grab some extra for Hinterpommern, which is just Pomerania, by the way. Um, this entire area up here. For you guys to gain how much? Five? Psh, I'll take it. Whatever. Uh, I can also grab more states, so Mecklenburg. Black Mecklenburg. That one. This one. Yes. Over here. I think I will state and core that. That'll be nice. Just to have a, a bit less autonomy in these areas. A little bit more money flowing in. Uh, Diplo or Diplo Rep? I think I'll take the raw Diplo. And if I go over, I'll just, of course, spam it into uh, what, I, what I've been told is pronounced um, mercantilism. Not mercantilism, but I, I just have a habit I cannot break, so I'm so sorry. I, I cannot break that habit. It's just, it's just how it's going to be. So anyways... Uh, I kind of wanted to attack Bohemia, if you could tell, by the spy network and the subconscious uh, claims I've been getting. Just not even thinking about them, just doing it, but... Ah, well, we can call in Savoy, and they're strong. Lüneberg, uh, kind of strong. Württemberg. Where are you again? Eh, yeah, somewhere over here, I'm sure. Yeah. Kind of, uh, three provinces, not bad. So uh, let me let me do a size up. I know you guys hate it when I play slow, but I have to check. And I uh, I can't get the Utenlaut, so I can't. That's the uh, the U with the DOS, by the way. So I can't. I can't type in Lunberg because it doesn't show up. <laughs> That's so annoying. Okay, Lunberg over here. Uh, I wanted this actually. Lunberg. Ah, oh, boy. Well, 7,000, and I'm just going to assume that uh, Württemberg is also the same. Okay, let's start building up the army again. We want what width? We want 24 width. 24, so that's 20 of these guys, 4 of these guys, solid. We can do that. Still Emperor, still lots of manpower, still lots of money. 
That's one of the things I do like about having Emperorship. I get disgusting amounts of money. Tax income of 16 ducats a month. Well, a year actually, not a month. I lied. But we have modifiers, so it's nice. Anywho, all of these are trash, but I need to have one anyway. So, 25k. Pretty solid. Get rid of the Rebel Suppression. Prussian Expansion. Yeah, this, these are really, really lame missions, honestly. For Prussia. I'm, I think they're changing them. Eventually. Later. Not right now. Next update. Which will be nice. Imperial Liberation. Uh, not quite. We're going more for the, uh... Conquests and killing things route. So... Oh, I forgot to check Bohemia themselves, actually. Where are they sitting at? Ah, 24,000. I'm sure this will be fine. Let's do it anyway. Uh, conquest of... This thing, I guess? Sure. Well, we'll see how it goes. That's probably the least reassuring thing I could possibly say before declaring war on arrival. Well, let's see how this one goes. Well, listen. I'm sure it's fine. Let me take this, and let me, let me take, uh, yeah, let me take that, and this, and, and this, and that. And I like him a lot better, because he can move faster, but this, this guy has the godly amounts of shock. This is the man who will, who will be crushing the Bohemian army by, uh, breathing on them a little bit too sharply. That's, this is the man himself. Uh, we need to take just this one province, right? And you're going to here. And and that's a good idea? Is it? I don't know. Uh, they do have two maneuver. I just, I feel like my shock's gonna be nothing. Because they're moving out, actually. Wait, did you think you could... Did you... Oh my god. You poor soul. Your first thought was, yes, I will go immediately to Berlin, where they have a, a fort with woods where I will be... I'm the defender here, so you're sitting here with the minus one terrain. I don't get the river crossing penalty because I'm the defender, technically. Oh, you poor soul. Bohemia, you don't seem to understand how stupid that was. Ah, it's AI. AI will be AI. It's just how it works. Alright, well, thanks for the early victory and the uh, solid casualty ratio. I think I'll, uh, oh, that, that has a fort to siege it down. That's not fun. Okay, let's start by taking care of Lindbergh. Uh, they're kind of in the way, but we did get a, a quick early battle against Bohemia. Debatable if that was actually worth anything useful, but whatever. Uh, we can't really scare Lindbergh out, but we can do something like this and siege everything they have. Kind of scare him a bit. I don't think I can bring them down to medium like this. That would require the capital, which I guess I'll take. I mean, yeah, that's a good idea just to get them out of the war in the first place. They seem to try and do the same thing, but with, uh... But with, uh, Savoy, so they're gonna try and do this exact same strategy... Because, you know, that's just how the AI strategies work. Just be annoying and you'll win. Haha, -ha. yes, beautiful. Brilliant strategy. Uh, in the meantime, though, Savoy is going to travel down here with me. And we're going to try and uh, clear them out a bit. While we siege down this capital, which is undefended. Hmm. Yes, brilliant idea. Anyways, I don't think I'll spend this admin yet. Probably not. Uh, let's go for Conflict in the Caribbean. One of my favorite tunes. I'll also do a time check. We, we've been playing a while and I just started a new war. <laughs> okay, never mind. We're fine. I'm just being delirious or something. 15 minutes does not a long time it make. Anyways, so that's a capital fort in the mountains. That Bohemia's thinking, hmm, yes, I think I will siege this down. Like how they wanted to siege the capital in the woods. Yes? Am I am I doing this? Am I is this right? Am I doing this right? Cause I think something here is very wrong. Um 
Yeah, so uh, I might get the crossing penalty. Sure, that's fine. I do get a plus five for my shock. And uh, they get a minus two from being in the mountains and being the attacker like a bunch of absolute buffoons. So this will be interesting. So they get the plus two from the fire. I get the plus five. They get the minus two. I'm getting a comparative plus seven advantage in the shock phase. Bohemia is just not picking the right places to be at the right time. They're just, they're just really not. Oh, and here comes the stack wipe. If I can make it there for stack wipe, please, 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 please. Ah, oh, 2nd of February, you've got to be joking. Come on, guys, you got this. Stack wipe, please. No, not yet. That is really annoying. Oh, and I took the capital of uh, Lundberg. Which doesn't matter. Um, their war score value, they'll just... You know, they'll just be fine with it. They'll head out. It's fine. Um, I don't think I have claims here. Meaning that's hefty aggressive expansion. Uh, 22 is the highest number, I think, we have around us. I don't think I want to go insane here. Um, definitely weakening Bohemia is the, the goal. Trademark, TM, you know, the goal. The big one. Um, cutting them off from Poland. It's also probably an incredibly smart idea. Though, uh, expensive... Expensive for uh, everything here. Okay, how about how about we do something more sensible then, like this? That is uh, one. Well, Bohemia won't be able to join. Lundberg won't be able to join. Lübeck maybe. Bavaria maybe. Hamburg, uh, I doubt it. Nuremberg perhaps. I don't know. This looks like it will be solid to me. Keep Poland and Bohemia separated so I can take them out individually. I don't know why I said that so weird. But yeah, anyways, um, let's just start with Lundberg. Money, I don't want that capital actually. Just money. Money, war reps. Anything that'll give me prestige. Because I like prestige, nothing special. Oh right, you should give things back into the Empire, shouldn't you? You greedy little... Yeah, give these back. You little... Eh. I don't care about your money. Give these things back. Um, that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Thank you, Lundberg, for your uh, cooperation. So one guy down. Württemberg is next on the chopping block. And uh, we have a fantastic advantage right now, actually. Uh, Württemberg's right here. Okay, cool. Unlawful territory from Mainz. Uh, he will not give it back. I don't care if I actually lose this stuff. I'm, I'm not doing... Yeah, I think I've explained my point already. So, I'm not gonna explain it again. Uh, what we do need to do is, yeah, move these guys out of the way. I had a feeling. I had the, I had the spidey senses tingling in the back of my head. Back of my neck, that's where they are, actually. Or, I don't actually know. They were telling me, you gotta, you gotta evacuate that army. Uh, apparently I can do it for the other thing, too. Which will just give him more unrest. Okay, let's head into here. Uh, is that a good idea, Bohemia? Is that really gonna pay off well enough for you? Hmm. Papal influence for- yeah, sure, let's reform Catholicism. Because why not? I really should wait for the next military attack. Instead of spending so much on, uh... On our points, on our ideas. Also, that was a stack wipe, by the way. So, uh... Rotenberg's being taken care of by our faithful ally, Savoy. We have our stack regrouped together. That's, you know, a much better coordinated war than, than Poland's was, so... That's good, at least.
bring these guys over here, get two forts going at the same time. We kind of need it, to be honest. And if I can get myself a second... Yeah, this guy over here. That'll be nice. For the extra siege ability. Uh, you do have the cannon, so... Somewhat comparative. I mean, this guy is a plus two. You have the plus one from the cannon. The value cannon. The uh, slightly okay cannon. So we'll bump up the speed. Nothing really to look at here. Just boringness waiting. They might try and regroup. That's a real possibility. Quite likely, actually. Maybe down in Austria. I don't know. I get to walk all around the Empire, so they do too, technically. So. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, come on, guys. I just need this. Ah, they look like they might be... Yeah, too late. <laughs> they might be too late. That's what they are. Um, anyways, I could also take this. Oh, this is... I'm intrigued now. I'm intrigued that I can actually take anything within the Empire because I'm the Emperor. Oh, that might be really spicy, actually. Oh, that might be really nice. I might do that. I might do that. Because when I lose Emperorship, then that's... A bit unfortunate, but... Um... That's perfectly okay. Let me <clears throat> let me check something. I can't. I'm never gonna re like reign in Northern Italy at this point. Doesn't matter. Uh, from Germany, you need certain places in different areas. Okay. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. Really not so bad, honestly. I think I will take just one little province here. Just, just one. Just one. Uh, can't combine the two, can I? Unless I full annex. And then I can. I really could do this for 16 aggressive expansion. Which is dangerous. Uh, huh. Also, do I, I... I swear I have I have war things on. Or I have the ability to raise war taxes and I haven't been doing it like an absolute buffoon. Yikes. Um, Alright. Uh, let's not release, release them. I'll just take... Like one province here. Which one's better? Baden. Okay, cool. I'll take this one. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll take all your money. War reps. Alliance, alliance, uh, another alliance, another alliance. And that's good enough for me. Okay, thank you, Württemberg, for your, uh, for your stuff, I guess. I don't know. There you go. I'm, I, I can core this. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I own this now. That's, yeah, that's something. Huh. Kind of cool, actually. I have uh, unrestricted coring distance within the Empire. Kind of makes sense, considering, you know, Austria's chilling over here with uh, with Sundgau, but... Um, yeah, kind of makes sense. Anywho, I'm still just kind of curious about that whole... Yeah, that coalition's grown. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, yeah a little. A little bit. Uh, ooh, our Duke is also a Morale of Armies dude. That's fantastic. That's really nice. Very, very spicy. Now, uh, we do have an ally. I... Okay, they're just fighting down. Oh, what on earth? Austria, what are you doing? Austria, I don't like what you're doing here. But I can't really stop you, which is the annoying part. Oh well, we'll just have to expand faster than they do. <clears throat> I'll also have to fix my voice before next episode, apparently. But yeah, I just want this little province here. This fort, thank you. We'll move along. I feel like you're not actually going to siege down Prague. I, I have the slight suspicion you're going to like move as soon as you can. So we're going to send this guy over for... Uh, Insurance. Or assurance. One of the two words. One of those is right, I'm sure. Uh, 
Um, yeah, that's fine. Also, move these guys over here. Boop -a -doo -doo -boo. Took this. Uh, you guys are really making zero progress on that fort, huh? Like, absolutely nothing is going on here. And we're capped on Diplo. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go ahead of time. So we'll do that instead. We'll do this, and we'll do another time check. Because we're sitting at approximately 25 minutes. So let's wrap this war up. Let's get it nice and done, over with. Kaput. So that we can end this before a half hour. That'll be nice. Took this. We'll give him... The other leader who will go over here. I don't know if he'll be effective enough, but... We really do just need their capital. Uh, I'm not going to take the next admin tech right now, probably. 615, 10-2, yeah, hmm. Uh, I'm not sure how this one will go, actually. If we lose it, it'll be unfortunate, but I'm I'm interested, actually. Oh, okay, never mind, we're fine. Uh, we're so close. We just need to take the capital. That's it. That's all we need to do. Come on, guys, 50%. They're, they're already over here, too? Jeez, it's just... A guidebook on how to be annoying, written by the AI. I didn't want to get sieged today, actually. I just want that to be known. I didn't plan on getting sieged. I just thought we'd have more success in that siege over there, but whatever. I'll take your money, I'll take this stuff. Uh, I'll get rid of your alliance. Actually, I should make you release one nation. Moravia, there you go, congratulations. It's not quite humiliation, but uh, I'll, feel, I'll feel rather nice about it anyway. 24 power projection. Hmm. This works for me. I feel like someone's, like, secretly yelling at me. That's something- I should probably do something different. Someone's definitely yelling at me from behind the screen. Uh, because I'm doing something wrong here. Uh, yeah, I'm probably doing something wrong here. Let me... I could take this. This- this is the better deal. That's a whole state. This is a whole state here. That is the significantly better deal. Yes, this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, cool. Less power projection, slightly, by one, but whatever. Coalition. Ah, it's just a minor. Just a minor coalition. <coughs> mm, sorry, rest in peace, my voice. Anyways, yeah, just a minor coalition. We're gonna bring everyone back home. And, in theory, we, uh, kind of supposed to gain enough power base before the Reformation... So that if we really, really need to fight the, the war, the 30 years war, if it is still going to be 30 years, then it's not going to be a problem. But whatever, that's a, that's a discussion for another episode. So anyways, ooh, that's not fun. I think I'll go with this one. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay, cool. Um, and I, I'll take the next text in the next episode. I just really hope we're going to be fine here. Move these guys back. Oh, they kind of got caught in here. I'm really going to have to do a shuffle. Okay, this is fun. Oh yeah, this is great, great fun. So we'll have to cancel the military stuff. Uh, we're going to ask Hesse. Nope, they won't let us through. Neither over here. Really? Oh, uh, nope. We're kind of trapped here. Okay, let's ask our wonderful ally. They won't ask this brand new nation. Okay, yeah. Rest in peace, my Diplo, for like a month or so. We'll uh, have to get rid of this. Cool. Um, other things to pay attention to, actually. Trade efficiency. 
And that's it. That's all the time we have for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day.